when Donald Trump speaks, he speaks very he speaks very quickly. He has a lot to say. He understands what's going on. I mean, there was one thing. The what? Let's go back to the COVID nineteen thing, where he talks about how uh, Joe Biden called him a racist. I closed it, and you said he's xenophobic. He's a racist, and he's xenophobic because you didn't think I should have closed our country. Wait, no, Wait a minute. It says two minutes. You didn't think we should have closed our country because you thought it was too. It was terrible. You wouldn't have closed it for another two months. By my doing it early, in fact, Dr. Fauci said, President Trump saved thousands of lives. Many of you, a Democrat governor, said, President Trump did a phenomenal job. We worked with the governor. Oh, really? Go take a look. Oh, really? Go to and that here's the thing. Donald Trump was the only one out there having a conversation. He was really the only one debating. Joe Biden had his delivered lines that he was supposed to d deliver to the audience. He was supposed to look in the camera. They they pre-practiced all of these things. And when Donald Trump interrupted him, it threw him off script. And that's the big problem. Donald Trump, he went out, he knew his stuff. He's been doing this at rallies every single day for months. He's been doing this at press conferences. He, his debate prep is doing the job and going out and telling everybody what he did. And that's, and, and the, some of the, one of the best lines Donald Trump had, which sums up Joe Biden to a T, was right after this. It was this one. But I'll tell you, Joe, you could never have done the job that we did. You don't have it in your blood. You could have never done that job. You don't have it in your blood. That is a debate line that should be highlighted. That is something that is probably one of the most honest and truest statements that we had from the debate last night. You know what, Joe Biden? You can sit here and you can say I had 200,000 people died under my watch and that's a terrible thing, but it would have been 2 million if it were you because when I was taking bold steps, when I was looking in the face of Democrats who were calling me a racist and a xenophobe, when I was doing the hard work of shutting down the border to China back in January, to Europe back in February, when I was making these decisions, when I was learning how how deadly this disease was. When I was learning firsthand what could happen to Americans, 2.5 million deaths? What, what, that's crazy. I made the tough calls to keep the country calm, to do what we had to do to get the ventilators, to get the PPE, to help the governors, to work to mitigate this. I did all that and everybody was beating me up for being a racist and a xenophobe and overreacting and, and not taking it seriously and then taking it too seriously and this, this and that and the other. But you know what? I did the job and you couldn't. But I'll tell you, Joe, you could never have done the job that we did. You don't have it in your blood. You could have never done that job. And that's Donald Trump telling every single voter, Republican or Democrat, something they already knew, that Joe Biden just can't be the president. It's not in his blood. It's not in his future either. So we're good to go.